everybody, I am in my new kitchen and filming for the very first time. This is going to be a test drive to see how filming in my new apartment kitchen goes. I have moved nothing in except a little table and uh, this chair came out of my father's house uh, many, many years ago. And this wonderful enamel table I've had for a very long time and I don't remember where I got it. The room is empty except for the stove, which comes with the apartment, and it did come with a refrigerator, but I said the refrigerator was too big for my kitchen, and I didn't want it taking up that much space. So they took it out, and then I was left with nothing. <laughs> So I had to buy a refrigerator, which I have to pick up at Home Depot because Home Depot will deliver it for $60 to the curb, but I don't live here and I don't know how to coordinate getting people here when they deliver it to bring it up one flight. So I'm going to have to do it myself as usual. Over here is very interesting. Back here is an ironing board. I hope you can see this. It actually is built into the room and this ironing board comes down out of the cabinet and this of course was put in in the 1930s when they built the building. Now I really wanted to leave this ironing board cabinet revealed so that I could use it and I wouldn't have to stash an ironing board somewhere because you know once in a while you do need an ironing board. However, I am going to have to put the refrigerator there. So it's going to take up about uh, this much space because it's small. And then I'm going to have this much space to eat. And I need to put some shelves and cabinets up here to put some of my thousand boxes of stuff. And then what I want to put right here is I want to put a three tier light stand for starting vegetables and growing wheatgrass. And I'm gonna be doing more of this as soon as I get my setup, but I wanna be growing wheatgrass and I wanna be drinking two ounces a day because it's extremely good for you. And I am gonna take you through that process once I get that set up. And if anybody is watching this who has a product like this, because I couldn't find one online for a reasonable amount of money, please contact me and I would be happy to use it and review it. I want three shelves with three light stands and I want it to fit a space about no more than 30 inches wide and about, let's see, well, I guess it could be 5.5, 5. 5, so that's 65, it could be 65 inches tall. Anyway, one fun thing we're going to do today is we are going to open this box. Now, this was sent to me by, it's been two months and I forgot but it sounded like a really great thing to try because now for the first time since I've been gardening, I have to do what I've been saying about growing in a small space. I mean, I thought I was growing in a small space before, but this apartment has no windowsill, no bay window, no way to hang plants out the window, and I'm on the second floor. I do have an opportunity to have one to two small trees or bushes in pots. I have to make a decision out of all the small trees I have at home, which ones I will let live here. Now, this is from, I wanna say Sweden. <laughs> it is a grow system for sprouts. You seed these sprouts without soil, which is very convenient if you're in an apartment and you have to worry about mess and especially if you're in an apartment that's all carpeted like mine. The only thing that's not carpeted is this room. All right, now we're gonna open this. 
I just happen to have a pair of these here because Celine and I were here. The only thing we've done here in this room is to put in some shelf liner paper. Now, if you've ever decided to put in shelf liner paper, I have a recommendation. This stuff works great. It's ridged on one side, smooth on the other side. The ridging makes it really easy to cut because you literally can start your cut and slide the scissors all the way without even going like that. And the lengthwise is always even and not, it's really hard to cut plastic straight and fit nicely into your cabinets. But I did this cabinet, that cabinet, that cabinet, that cabinet, and Celine did all of those. I still have two more down here to do. This stuff you can order on Amazon, and I will put it in the household essentials folder on amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash late bloomer show. And you will go down there and you will see my garden essentials, household essentials, health and beauty. And this stuff is really hard to find in your local hardware store. I went to several hardware stores and I found a lot of this kind of thing, which is only, I think about 18 inches wide and not that terribly long. And it curls, so it's really hard to get it to lay flat. It's nice because it's kind of gray and it kind of matches the floor in my kitchen and all that. But we ran out of that. This is a much better value when you order it on Amazon. I could not even find this in the store. Let's see, it says this is from, sent by Vasagatan in Gothenburg, Frederick Edeland in Nordemark, Ventilagen Skvodi. Okay, in Sweden, <laughs> thank you. It says Sweden. <laughs> and it is a, it's called a growing kit. So you may notice that I'm still wearing my splint on my hand, which is necessary. Okay, this is very easy, look. Packs very simply in the box, fits exactly the size of their shipping box. And it looks like there's, okay. <laughs> okay, this is, this is everything, this is everything that is in the box. Box is empty. Hoping there are some instructions. This is the growing medium. Ah ha ha ha, instructions and seeds. Thank you very much. Okay, here are the growing instructions and it's in a nice plastic bag so it will stay nice. Growing instruction for Nord Channel. So this product is called Nord Channel. It talks about growing microgreens which are so nutritious for you and is something that you can grow in a small apartment. It's, you can even grow it with a grow light. You don't have to have a window. I have nice window light coming in. This is all natural light that's hitting me in the face. The founder of Nordemark started right where you are now, at home by the kitchen table. This is not gonna be my kitchen table. This is just a little table for my bedside, but it's all I have right now. Okay, so I am glancing through these instructions and it says start by cleaning the channels. The cleaner the channels are, the higher chance for success. By the way, the growing medium is hemp fiber. So there are four mats and in the box and I have mixed radish seed. So this is mixed radish seed. I asked him to send me organic. It does not say organic on the label. They may have a different standard over in Sweden. First wash the channels, which I'm going to do, and then you have to dip these hemp pads into water. I'm gonna set those over here while I wash these channels. 
I have my Young Living Household Cleaning Solution, which is all natural. You don't want to use any toxic cleaner. For something you're going to be growing food in. How did these come out? Like that, okay. Like that. I happened to bring a few things over today to accomplish this task. These end caps just slide right on. They're not waterproof, so you're not supposed to leave too much water in there. I have my non-toxic pad that I picked up at my food co-op. I'm just going to wash these channels really well. Get all the dust off. First time I've used the water in this apartment. Okay. I am going to be using bottled water, at least for the time being, in my new apartment because I don't have any sort of filters hooked up to the plumbing and I always filter my LADWP tap water before I drink it or use it for cooking. And since I am actually growing sprouts, I am going to be using filtered water as well. But it's, this is not only filtered water, this is reverse osmosis water that I picked up at the co-op. They have a big machine at the co-op. It's now 40 cents a gallon. So it's pretty expensive, plus, Water is eight pounds per gallon, and this is three gallons, so that's 24 pounds, and I do live on the second floor, so this is going to be interesting. <laughs> okay, put the plastic end caps on one channel. I can do that. Like so, and like This hand doesn't work particularly well. <laughs> it says dip the hemp fiber into the bowl of water. Now, <sighs> I don't know what the pH of my water is. It says it will speed up the germination process. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to just hope that this water is about 6.0. Let's just swish this out, make sure it's nice and clean with the water that's been filtered. And man, that's making me thirsty. It's kind of rough on one side with ridges, so I'm assuming the ridges go on the ridges of the channel. But first we're going to dip it in the water and get it wet. Okay, it is totally soaked. You should do this near your sink so that you can let, let it drip. Well, it's still dripping. <laughs> if you can see that. It's still dripping. Okay. You're supposed to put it on the channel with the end parts that are on and smooth it out. You're supposed to use a cup to spread the seeds. Do I have a cup? No, I don't. 
So I'm going to have to spread them as evenly as possible. Wow. That did not open. All right, I do not have a cup or a bowl, so I'm going to do this carefully. It says to spread them out as evenly as possible. And I don't know if you're supposed to use them all. It doesn't say. That seems like a lot to me. But maybe, it, maybe it's supposed to be really... It doesn't really say. It needs to say that. Okay. These are radish seeds, you know. We all love radish sprouts. Okay. I only had one spray bottle. This amber bottle that I have my cleaning fluid in, so, which is all natural. Thieves household cleaner for Young Living. And <laughs> watch, let's see if we, no, we probably cannot do this. But let's see. I just want to put a little bit of water in here. It says... a three gallon bottle of water with a messed up thumb. Okay, now. It says to wet these seeds from the top with a spray bottle of water. It's pretty wet to me. It says put the last channel on top of the seeds. And there's a groove that fits right in there. You can see it fits right there. Okay. That's all we do for two to three days. So we have started our process and once they start sprouting we're probably going to need to put them in the sunlight I would think but for now they're completely covered up with the top on here this first part I will follow up in two to three days and we'll see where we're at I've got my priorities straight the first thing you do when you move in is you get good clean drinking water and you start growing some seeds all the other stuff can wait <laughs> I just learned from one of John at GrowingYourGreens.com's videos today that sprouts grow best when the temperature is between 75 and 80 degrees in your house. Well, it's never going to be that hot in my house. <laughs> but I just discovered this really bright corner here and everything that was sitting in this corner was really warm. So I am going to put my sprouts right here and see what happens. Thanks so much for watching this channel, liking my videos, and especially sharing them with your friends. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please watch these. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you in the next video.